Good morning, Central High School. Today is Wednesday, September the 23rd. Today is an A day. Let's begin this day as always, please, with a brief moment of silence. Thank you. And now for Lift Every Voice and Sing. Thank you, and now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, now for this morning's announcements. This week's football game was scheduled to be this Friday at home. However, we're going to have to move that game to Saturday at Meade County. 
out of an, uh, an abundance of caution for activity that we cannot predict uh, over this weekend. And so we want to make sure that the game still happens. We want to make sure that our players and coaches are safe. So we're going to play that game at Meade County Saturday at noon. <clears throat> Social justice and art, as you know, that uh, here at Central High School, we're home of Muhammad Ali. It's where he went to school. And so we have a social justice and art program. We're looking to recruit 20 students to participate in this free virtual after school program where students will learn from our very own Ms. Jackie Nelson about global, national, and local social justice topics and how history has shaped our current reality. Please see your grade level Google Classroom for more information. This is a fantastic opportunity. I can't give you all the details here for time uh, reasons, but guys, please make sure you take time to, to reach out to Miss Jackie uh, about that. That's Jackie.Nelson. Congratulations to Sanaya Spillman on her acceptance to Brescia University. Also, we want to give a shout out to Trista Duncan on her acceptance to Murray State, a fantastic school in Western Kentucky. We're very proud of both of you. Seniors keep getting those. Um, keep getting those acceptances and your scholarships in so we can shout you out. Hashtag CAP, that's the college admissions process program that starts in two weeks. New members, grades 10 through 12 are invited to join. When we send this out to you students, please complete this application before this Friday. If you have any questions, you can contract, contact Ms. Lane. That's adrian.lane and her email is right here. If you click on that, that'll take you to her email address. Seniors who competed in the Louisville Regional Science and Engineering Fair back in March are eligible to enter the Regeneron Science Talent Search. Please email Ms. Matter if you have any questions about that. We've been promoting that for a while. Uh, and it, if you have a help, if you want to do a help session, that's coming up on Friday at 1230 for anyone who's interested. If you missed the virtual senior night last week, we have makeup meetings on Friday at 930, September 30th at 11 and October 6th at 4 p.m. October 20th will be our FAFSA night. You can get help with your FAFSA from Steed Help Held with Kia uh, for parents and students. There'll be help sessions available for you there. If you have questions about that, please reach out to Ms. Beaumont or Ms. Poor, uh, and that's Tiffany.Beaumont, B-E-A-U-M-O-N-T, and Ashley.Poor, and Poor is P-O-O-R-E. Ladies of Leadership is now accepting applications. When we send this out, guys, click on this flyer uh, for more information, and the application is found here. And then last but not least, our open house is coming up very soon. It'll be done virtually. We'll have more direct information on that in the coming days so that you can know exactly how to do it. But it'll take place at 630 in the evening on September the 29th. Every day, guys, we remind you of our behavior expectations to be responsible, respectful, and right on time. Now more than ever with our city, and uh, it seems like there's this eerie feeling in our city right now. Now's the time more than ever, guys, to continue to be responsible, be respectful, and to get to places on time, all right? It, I can't stress enough how important those three things are, especially during this time. I always like to remind you of our school vision statement, is that we're relentlessly continuing our tradition as leaders of positive social change. You know, guys, back in the 60s and 70s, when there were uh, riots and issues in Louisville, Kentucky, this is not the first time Louisville has had uh, race related issues, all right, or police related issues. This is not the first time. But back in the 60s and 70s, when Louisville were having similar issues to what we're having right now, Central High School students uh, were leaders. Central High School students were the ones who were, who were vocal about making change happen. And so, guys, I want to encourage you to think about how can you make positive change happen? How can you do that uh, during this time? I want to encourage you to say that one of the ways you can do that is continue to show up to class every day. They might not sound very glamorous, right? That's not going to make the news. But getting your education is one of the best things you can do. How can you use your voice? How can you use your art? How can you do these things that's going to make a change for the better in our world and in our city? So I want you to think about that and then pursue that positive social change. And as always, I'd like to remind you, Life is all about choices. Make great choices today.